Hey all, I am Kasim Sheikh and welcome to my channel. Today in this video, we'll learn how to deploy a Python Flask application to Azure Web App. So as a part of prerequisite, we need to have Microsoft Azure subscription and Python being installed in our machine. It's optional again. Let's see how. So let's first uh, navigate to Azure portal that is portalazure.com and create a new Azure web app. Click on new of web plus mobile and web app. Let's give it a name. My Python. Okay, it's there. Uh, let's uh, create a new resource group with the same name. Let's select it in Windows. Uh, we can create a new app service plan or we can go with the default one. Uh, it's an already I have a plan with uh, selecting the free tier. Okay, let's go with new one. Let's give the same name my Python app. Select click on pricing tier. You can get a number of, of multiple options. Let's go with a free one. Click on select. Okay, so the new app plan is being selected over here. Let's pin it to dashboard and click on create. So this will create a uh, plain Azure web app and high scalable web hosting service provided by Microsoft Azure. And uh, we will deploy our web app, our Python Flask web application to this over this web app so it's getting deployed great so now it's being deployed we got a notification also uh, this is the main uh, overview page of our web app we can go to resource group which we created recently that is my python and uh, we can see the app plan and web app is being deployed over here under this resource group let's go to my python web app and this is the url this is the public cloud url where our application will be hosted let's click on this Okay, so it's absolutely running fine. So now we need to deploy uh, our Python Flask application. So for that, uh, you can directly go to uh, GitHub. And uh, if you can see the original, like uh, this was, this is the application that is from Azure samples. This is the URL. What I have done is it's a simple uh, Python Flask app URL with uh, hello world as such what I have done is I have cloned it to my repository into my repository uh, that is Kasam Shake uh, with Python flask hello world and uh, this is the main uh, main.py page wherein this message is being displayed so let's deploy this application as is to uh, our web app for doing so let's go to azure portal again and click on deployment options so here you will be getting different uh, what we say repositories from where you can deploy the application to your web app so as you can see uh, as of now there are visual studio team services onedrive local gate github bitbucket dropbox external repository and so on these are being available so let's go with github and uh, we need to configure so this is another account of mine which is already being configured so let's change the account okay let's go with it so uh it's it authorized i've already authorized uh 
my github repository or else it will ask you to sign up with your github credentials and ask for some permissions to be granted and that's it and once uh, it is being su successfully authorized you can list all your repositories as in part of this project so these are my repositories under my github account so let's go with this python flask hello world which we saw earlier it will list all the branches if any uh, within that repository so it has a master branch and click on ok so as soon as you will uh, click on ok the, the thing will happen is uh, the entire uh, files from that particular branch from that particular repository master branch will get deployed uh, to our azure web app so this is one of the very super cool feature of uh, using azure web app that it can directly or uh, it has an continuous you can say it can be used as a continuous deployment wherein you can just connect to your repository you just check check in with the modifications you can commit the changes and that's it it will be on the fly on your web app so you can see the status over here again click on deployment options you can see it is trying to uh it's communicating with the github it's trying to get all the files it will take fewer minutes for the first time let's see let's wait okay so after a few seconds uh you can see uh, this icon and this shows or this says that our application from github is uh, deployed let's go to the url and hit refresh okay so why this message you do not have a permission to view this directory or page this is because we need to configure our web app to uh, host and python application so for doing so what we can do is there are two ways the first way is going to application settings this is our uh, web app application settings and from here as you can see this python version you can select any of the version of your application so uh, the application which we deployed is of 3.4 so you can directly select 3.4 or 2.7 as uh, whatever your application is into just select it from here and click on save so this will notify you once uh, it is being configured okay so you can see a successfully updated web page web app settings now go to your application and hit refresh see it's hello world so our fight python flask application is now successfully configured and deployed into azure web app now there is another way of uh, setting up this configuration uh, that is let's change it let's uh, make this off and click on save this is the fastest and easiest method to configure uh, let's go to application again click on refresh see okay so what is the second option so many of uh, the developers are now very fond of using azure cli uh, for creating their azure resources deploying and everything so through azure cli also we can do this for doing so just click on um, this azure cli icon cloud shell icon so that it uh, get opens into your azure portal itself so now it will take few minutes to get connected with the cli or with the terminal okay so after a few minutes or a few seconds the cli is now connected let's type is hit or getting in the terms okay so you can see all the azure commands so now we need to set up uh, our web app config so for that we need to type az web app and uh, so for setting up the configuration we need to uh, give this command az web app 
config set the python version you can give the version here that is 3.4 for web app name name is my python okay and the resource group resource group name is again my python okay so web app config set python version 3.4 name my python and resource group is my python click on enter so it's now setting up the configuration as you can see it has been done you can just check it just scroll and you can see a python version 3.4 okay now let's go to our applic uh, url again and hit refresh and now you can see it's again being configured so it's very simple it's uh, straightforward you can directly uh, uh, deploy your application as is through using github or any other repository uh, with a simple configuration you can make your applic python application up on cloud with uh, running successfully fine and clear so hope you have enjoyed and learned something from this video uh would request you to kindly subscribe to my channel and like and share this video among your groups among your community thank you thank you for watching the video thank you